This is my first product review video and today I am going to review this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Manisha. I am a professional makeup and hair stylist. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks for all the support that you are giving me. And if you are someone who is watching my channel for the first time, I am so glad to welcome you to my channel. And if you would like to uh, see my bridal works, then you can check it in my Instagram profile. The profile link is given in the description below. And also if you have any bridal inquiries or any other makeup related queries, you can reach out me through the number that I have already mentioned in my profile. Now without any further delay, we'll move on to the video. Most of us will be very curious to know about the price of something before we purchase that. So let me tell you the price of this foundation first. It retails for 599 rupees around 600 and the quantity is 30 ml and it comes in a glass container just like this. So the coverage wise it gives medium to full coverage and it is completely a matte based foundation and when you open the bottle we don't have that pumping type we'll be having this spatula that comes along with the cap so using this spatula we have to dot the product all over the face anyways we don't need to use our finger and also they are claiming that uh, it looks good on the photographs and also uh, in all the lightings uh, creality free and PETA certified all such things and I purchased the shade um, golden beige and the texture wise also it looks so creamy yeah it looks so creamy but only thing is when I see the product on the whole I don't feel like it is my shade it looks a bit lighter than my skin tone but let's see once after the application uh, now I'm going to apply this foundation on both sides of my uh, you know, face. On one side I'm going to use my blender to blend the product. On the other side I'm going to use the brush. But before that as usual I will prep my skin using the primer and the moisturizer as a base for this foundation. So it's been 10 minutes since I have applied the foundation on my face but it doesn't mean that you have to wait for 10 minutes after applying the foundation. You can definitely proceed with the next steps but make sure you are giving some 15 to 20 minutes after completing your entire makeup because every foundation will take some time to settle on our face. So I applied the foundation and I left as it is. I didn't even set it with powder just to check how far it is giving that matte finishing. So as they have claimed really it gives such a good matte finishing uh, when I'm touching my skin I didn't feel any stickiness so and also when I'm swatching the foundation here I felt that the shade was a bit lighter than my skin tone but after applying I really feel that uh, it matches my skin tone uh, perfectly also when I'm using the matte based foundation I won't use too much of powder to set my foundation this is common for both uh, combination and dry skin people uh, mine is a kind of uh, combination skin and one more thing is dry skin has to be hydrated well before applying this foundation since it is a matte based one 
uh, you may feel that patchiness and uh, cakiness on your skin suppose if you fail to give good hydration to your skin so make sure you are applying good amount of moisturizer and primer on your skin before applying this foundation and uh, you don't even need to set it with too much of powder but you should give such a good hydration to your skin and as usual oily skin you have to use a good amount of powder to set the foundation no matter what foundation you use so yeah now let me tell you what are all the pros and cons about this foundation so talking about the pros first thing is it is budget friendly especially when you're comparing to the branded items it is way budget friendly and also it gives a good coverage i'm so much satisfied with the coverage third thing is it works well for all the skin types especially oily skin tone and for the dry skin like i said you have to hydrate your skin well before the application and the fourth thing is uh, foundation can be easily blendable you can easily blend the foundation coming to the cons first thing is it doesn't have wide range of shades especially for the indian skin tone it has only limited number of shades and the second thing is it comes in a glass bottle so it is not a travel friendly thing uh, suppose if any heavy object hits this bottle then it will become a mess so my suggestion is when you are traveling somewhere uh, you can just switch a little amount of foundation into a plastic container and you can take it along with you not only for this foundation whenever you feel the packaging is poor for any foundation you can follow this method and the third thing is uh, the fragments of the foundation was bit intense but once after the application I didn't feel that at all it became very light so this is about this foundation I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you find this video helpful then give thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you wish you can subscribe my channel. I'll meet you guys in my next video. Until then bye bye.